Hi. Now in this video, what I want to do is talk to you about multiplying a vector by a scalar. So suppose I had this vector here, say a, and I took this vector again. Now if I multiplied it by 2, doubled it, then it's going to look like this. It's a vector that is twice as long then as the vector a going in the same direction. So I could replace this vector by a vector called 2a. If I multiply the vector a by say 3, then I get a vector that is three times as long going in the same direction. And we call this multiplying a vector by a scalar. The scalar in this case is the number 2. If I multiplied it by 3, it would be 3. So let's suppose that if the vector a had a column vector of the form 4, 6, 4 across, 6 up, it's not drawn to scale, but this would be the same as, say, 4i plus 6j if we we're working with the unit base vectors i and j. Then the vector 2a would be just to multiply this column vector or this vector by 2. So we could write that then as 2 times the column vector 4, 6, which would clearly give us the column vector 8, 12, just doubling each of the elements in here. Or in terms of i and j, it would clearly be 8i plus 12j. So very easy idea there. Now I've got another example you might like to try, and that is that let's imagine that we've got, say, 2b, a vector b, and if we doubled it, it equals 3 times the vector a. Then the question is, can you come up with what the vector b was? So I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. You might want to try that. OK, so how did you get on? All we've got to do is just rearrange this to make b the subject, and that is to divide by 2. So therefore we get b equals 3 over 2 multiplied by the vector a, 1.5 times a then. So we've got 3 over 2 multiplied by, and we'll take it in column vector form. We know the vector a is 4, 6. So just doing 1.5 times that gives us the column vector 6, 9. Or you might want it in terms of the unit base vectors i and j, so that would be 6i plus 9j. OK, so a simple idea then, how we multiply a vector by a scalar.